This is a HeadGum Podcast. All right. We are wow. back together. Look at us. Yeah. I got to say, Gareth. It's been a while. You look handsome. No. You have a cool look. <laughs> really? Yeah. What is going I on? I don't know. Because when I wore the I vest know. on the road, it was almost like, I can't do this. Yeah. The vest, the vest is the vest. Right. The, well, it wasn't even that the vest is not a good look. It was it's that too much. The, it's become, yes. it's no longer a vest. But- it's a scarlet vest. Kevin, am I wrong? Is he going through a handsome one? He looks or... great. He looks great the today. The jacket looks Stop amazing. It. Stop it. It's a good look. Stop. Well, this I will good, say, I'm going to good... savor this moment. Yeah. I, I was this... sitting here while we were doing the, we did a call this morning, yeah. a little uh, potential YouTube partnership. Yeah. And during it, I hadn't seen the Garf in a little bit, and I looked over and I thought, Wow. I'm seeing what the uh, Garf girls are seeing. Wow. wow. <laughs> this is a handsome guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look good too, Jake. I look good. Okay. And Kevin looks married. Hey, hey! So, Mr. Husband. And it over is here. official now. I think yes. after you said that, it is official that I am the hunk of the show. Again, I told just because you're single doesn't mean you're the hunk of the show. It, Kevin there's is the a hunk vacuum of the show. for me yes. to step into. A lot of fun at the wedding. Thank you so much for Such coming. A good Thank time. you. Uh, you didn't come. Uh, you passed. Uh. <laughs> uh, I came. It was really fun. You guys both have uh, really nice families. Your dad is awesome. They, uh, that is awesome. Yeah. Uh, they, also, your sister. The best. And her, uh, is it husband or yeah, boyfriend? husband. Yeah. Husband. Uh-huh. Great guy. Yeah. Big fan of Caleb Williams. Oh, cool. He oh, is. Cool. He broke it. He's a big college fan. Uh, he's in the Navy, so <laughs> just be careful this, this, if you want to start getting at our people who serve our goddamn <laughs> country. Uh, yeah, uh, he's yeah, a Navy right? guy. He's in. He serves for us. Uh, he die hard. Caleb fan. And he goes, yeah. what do you think? And I don't know college sports. I go, I don't know. Uh-huh. And he goes- in years, you're going to think back to this conversation, and you're going to think, he was right. <laughs> He's incredible. But just briefly, because we do want to talk about the elephant in the room, but just briefly, this has been what you all do for a long, long time. So what's sad about guys like Gareth, Kevin, is they live in the past. Can well, we please but why, move forward? But you can't, I mean, but this has been going on for ages. All right, so I guess we'll just have to talk about your vest all day. Listen, or can we I, talk about this why don't new we talk about, cool outfit? Why don't we talk about Hall of Famer Kyle Orton? <laughs> Such a, oh, God. Yeah, I can feel the audience members <laughs> tuning did, the too. dial. I did too. <laughs> I'm not saying that it's catchy. <laughs> Um, okay, but but, but let's wonderful talk about, wedding! Congratulations! Thank yes, you very much. unbelievable! Yes. Such good cake. You didn't come, and it we wanted so you there. Good. You How passed. good were the hors d'oeuvres? <laughs> I was going hors- nuts over those. Those hors were good. Hey, <laughs> we're back. Um, we have some art yes. in the studio now, which we've been new look. Now it got a little lost, didn't it? Yes. Yeah, so this is a story. A guy reached out, uh, similar to Caitlin, yep. our social media, similar to the guy on YouTube. He reached out, uh, Patty Holland, yep. a young man. Uh, he's an artist. Yeah, he's got a uh, great at, following too. At His Patty awesome. Holland, P A D D Y, uh, at Patty Holland two thousand four, or at at Vincent underscore Van underscore Holland, and he said, uh, "Can I uh, do a little uh, painting of the show?" Yeah, we said sure. Yeah, he made this awesome piece of work. Go to YouTube if you can't see it. If you care, it is. It's incredible. It, what it really does too is, I think, it embraces the uh, drunk uncles at the bar vibe. Yes, um, I think it's really beautiful. You're handing work. a beer. Yeah. I have a cigarette, and you have a, a fingerless <laughs> glove on, <laughs> as we talked about on one of the episodes. But so now we have uh, two pieces of artwork. Yeah. Ooh, we got to get going. Our guests, I just see. A big guest for uh, the next Just episode. showed up. Excited. But, we're, but please follow yes. him. And if you care to see it, go to our YouTube. As well as Patty, thank you for uh, doing the artwork. It's great stuff. We have a really fun guest today. We have Rick Glassman, who the has the Shoes Rick Off Gl- Pod. Yes, which we and, were both on. And uh, Not Dead Yet. No. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, not, not dead, dead yet. yet on ABC and Hulu, Hulu with Gina Rodriguez, His with podcast Hannah Simone. is hilarious we were on it yeah but by the way hannah simone the only new girl uh main cast member we've noticed who hasn't done the show we've noticed (laughs) we've noticed she's been asked we've noticed i mean what do you think the does she need the closer brian she needs the brian factor to bring the security man and lock her (laughs) i gotta say very quickly with shows on the road the amount of things that people will bring that are brian (laughs) (laughs) and the person who was like was he seriously a character? Like I, I don't <laughs> yeah. know what I could call out the bit or not. But um, but anyway, Rick is a great guest. Such we a have funny a great guy. call, and truly, 
I think his podcast is hit. He's hit because he is so unique yes. and has such u- a unique perspective, and it was a pleasure to have it in studio. So go listen to his pod. Go listen to us on his pod. And for the last time, go ahead. No. What? You did the thumb. You said for the last time. I you... didn't know what the last time was going to be. Well, I was sort of wrapping it up. Yeah. But you did thumb. You were counting. I was doing the Bill Clinton, I think. Oh, okay. You're not threatening. <laughs> well, you know, you said for the last point. Uh, yeah, I was going like, Don't all right, point. where is he going to go with this? All right. Yeah. Well, I was la- just going to say without further. I do. There Enjoy the show, everybody. Thank you. It, without Kevin here, it's, it's weird because it's, it's not it ended, over. It's over, didn't. but yeah. now why don't we say without further, further ado, ado, for real. Kevin! Help, Kevin! Kevin, help us in! We're dead without you. Help us in. Kevin! There's the hunk hey. without further ado. By the way, no longer hunk of the show. I think he is really the hunk of the show. Is the call the calls there? Uh, yep, you got the, yep. Come on in. Hey. Hi guys. Hi. I'm it's sorry for my. That's fine. Uh, no sweat. Well, Hi, everybody. Good to see you. Mr. Glass. How you doing? I have a shoulder issue. You do. And I'm giving. I'm giving hands. True? Yeah, I just had. Well, I like yeah. the Nickelodeon dog tags. That's too. why I'm a little late. I uh, you served in Nickelodeon. Long. I. <laughs> All right. We have fun. We have fun. <laughs> I had a little procedure, and it made it more difficult than I anticipated to shower and get dressed. Oh, oh shit! shit. That sucks. When was the procedure? Yesterday. I had wow. done these things before, but this one uh, it hurts a little bit more. Jesus. So we're not going. Are we? We're going. No. Oh, well, we are going. <laughs> I did not have a procedure. <laughs> you, you don't want people the people at ABC to know that you had a procedure. What's this? What time is it? Hey, Jake's on. Uh, oh, you worry about Jake's you, on London. You worry about me. Jake's on London time. <laughs> what time is it now? In London? No, I know what time it is in London. If I know what time it is here, it's twelve ten. It's eight ten in London. That's exactly right. So here's what right. we need from you, Rick. That's exactly right. We've yeah, got the the, the caller is on. Still. Throw these on. We have not heard either, so we are all going to figure this out as we go. You see what I did? What'd you respect? do? You're a sweet guy. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. You have no rules. I mean, mistake. One rule. I made a mistake. One rule. <laughs> Is this my camera? Uh, yeah. Made a mistake. I mean, sort of. <laughs> I was looking for that. I could do it. I could do it. All right. Thanks, man. Thank you. Okay. So, Hannah Simone, tell us about her. How is she on set? Yeah, I've only done scenes together a couple of times. Oh. And every time, she I don't know if she's going to not. I might. Can we send this to her? That yeah, for approval? So, yeah, yeah. She has diarrhea. She'll approve this. She always has diarrhea. <laughs> She's running always. I mean, that's the same old uh, Hannah. You know who else who always has diarrhea? Uh, Gina Rodriguez. Not dead yet. Wednesdays in ABC. How about that? Yet. Wait, did you plan this bit? I, I knew that they do this, but I get this tea. <laughs> Wait, because what they have rose have? tea. No, that is why, why you wanted the tea. Absolutely not. I don't drink coffee anymore. <laughs> I know. You said that. So black tea. And this is my favorite black tea because they put rose or whatever in it. But I'll tell you something. Look at this. Not dead yet. That's pretty good. That must feel good. This man is good at sales. That I is now great. he did about ten texts about your tea. I don't know what you're And you wanted to come after uh, the tea arrived. Uh-oh. It's all on the floor. And if you're looking to be on the floor, head on over to Marshall Rug Gallery. I'll send you guys a commercial. And we're back. Oh, uh, back to editing. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the battle. Uh, three, two, one. Come on, Rick. Is that a beat? I'm I giving mean, you a great beat. <laughs> without you, it's not it great. It's like a few people are falling off a cliff. I think Rick is key to the song. Without him, Jake, it's not good. All right. Are we all set? Uh, I don't hear. No one's talked yet. I don't hear me very well, and I hate that. You've got yeah. to hear you very well. Yeah. <laughs> so Gina, Gina Rodriguez has a diarrhea issue? All the women. Really? All the women on the show. Uh, Lauren Ash, Angela Gibbs, uh, Hannah uh, Simone, Gina uh, Rodriguez. Uh, how about the men? I mean, I fart every now and then. They're guys. Yeah. But no, we don't have di- I mean, we, <laughs> learn, we know our lives and we don't yeah, have diarrhea. Yeah, that's fine, though. That's encouraged. <laughs> what is the vibe of the set like? I've, it's got to be tough. Everyone's just What's, what's the crafty door? like? <laughs> Crafty's fantastic. Is it? It's network. Yeah, but I mean, still, the people seem to be eating bad. The women are choosing bad options, it seems. I don't think it's necessarily... I think this... Hello? I mean, women have... Hi, uh, hello? I just think women have diarrhea. Hello, how Is are Brad you? Brad Garrett? He just farts? Farts. Brad Garrett's a big farter. Farts a lot. How yeah. are they? Loud? Stinky? Um, just regular, just like... It's okay. Because like <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he's a big guy. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Just a regular fart. Yeah. I imagine something different. How do you picture him farting? Brad, honestly, smells really bad, really loud, aggressive. 
I could picture him doing the he's one really leg nice up kind of one yeah, wing. Same. Yeah, same. Some jokes about it. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, sit he sits yeah. down and says it's old leather when it's like the regular chair. <laughs> so I don't know if I get it. Eh, it's leather would make a little bit of a fart noise, maybe. Hello, you're on uh, the show. Can we get your different. name, please? Some leather does. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm I'm Ryan. Ryan? Ryan. Yeah. And where are you calling from, Ryan? I'm calling from Maine. You're calling from Maine? Ryan. And how old are you, Ryan? I'm 25. 25. You're yeah. on with uh, us and the very funny Rick Glassman. Take your shoes off. And not dead yet on ABC. Which, by the way, is now, yeah, on T's everywhere. Not dead uh, yet the, I would say, Wednesday star. Yep. I've been saying it. Yeah, I th- I did. Rick did a very funny thing. I posted something, and he, Rick wasn't in the picture. I just posted what Hannah Simone had reposted. Oh boy, he put himself in the poster <laughs> and resent it. <laughs> you just added yourself to the promo. Good. We'll put him a picture. I yeah. love it. Take it down. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> so Ryan, twenty five. You having problems with your family? What's going on, Ryan? The floor is yours. Uh, so. Uh, Basically, I recently made a, a, a pretty big mistake, and I'm hoping that you guys can help me find redemption. So uh, I, I drove down this ice road to try and get to my parents' camp that they bought a couple years ago. Uh, it's like a five-mile dirt road in Maine. They bought a camp? Just a three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, but you don't, but you Ryan, know, you in, don't in mean Maine, like a camp. Say, You're right. When we say camp, <laughs> yeah, we, you mean, say it we mean like a cabin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know that like, because of yeah, Maine. Yeah. Uh, there's a show about people in Maine who build cabins, and they call them all camps. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cabin master. Yeah. That's, that's, that's exactly yeah, yeah. It's right. Different. Cabin master. Sure. They're into the Grateful Dead and fish, <laughs> yeah. and they smoke a lot of grass. Is that what your parents' vibe is, Ryan? <laughs> um. No. Okay. No. Not really. All right. Uh, so you're driving down to five. Sorry, my Rick. I from New York. Out. Yeah. Yeah. So I. I. What, I shouldn't have been on this road with the car that I was in. Sure. And I. Uh. Ended up getting stuck and blocking the road because it's only it's only one car can get through at a time and uh so the the four four people who live there year round uh there's a couple who came by uh trying to get out and i was blocking them Mm -hmm. and so they they were pretty grumpy uh you know people in maine sometimes can be a little bit like Oh, uh, I, I don't okay. want people from away around here. Yeah. Sure. But you people know? from Maine can get tough. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. So uh, I inconvenienced them significantly, and I was hoping that you could help me find a way to uh, sort of like restore Such my family's a... honor. And, uh, well, there's and, a sweet you know, second half, right? Regain Ryan. their respect. So <laughs> let, me, let me just uh, paraphrase so we're all on the same page. Uh, yeah. Everybody farts on Rick Glassman's show, yeah. and the women all have explosive diarrhea. And I, Hannah Simone has it the worst per Rick Glassman. No, she they're all bad. I was saying that before we were on. Sorry. Ryan, I'm sorry. I don't want this to be public. Take this out. All the women on my show have diarrhea. The guys don't. They just fart sometimes. That's But that was- Keep that in. That was not supposed okay. to be public. Okay, so Ryan, but the- yeah, par- but, So don't tell anyone that, Ryan. And it's on ABC and Hulu. Main. But, the, but okay, just- Wednesday night. I think I'm a little confused. I would you like too. to paraphrase. So, here, so, so you I, paraphrase. Th- I think I know what's going on. Ryan's 25. He's yeah. doing his thing. <laughs> yeah. He's probably farting. His mom's having diarrhea, right? Now, she bought a summer camp, a small one, and you were driving there in the snow and your car stopped working, probably because your mom had diarrhea in it or something. Well- Well, a woman. Okay. And then you- Got out of the car, but you didn't put the car to the side. You stopped the car in the middle of the road so other cars couldn't get past. You created a blockade, and then you walked to your <laughs> there, camp. There yes. the side of the road. But that's true, Ryan. So yeah. what? Ha- first of all, my mom, who listens to the show and gives notes, doesn't like when we get wild. She's going to hate uh, Rick this class. Is does, she, be... does she watch on the toilet? Uh, <laughs> we we, we yeah, should my, definitely my film your mom listening. Yeah, yeah. I want to have my man. mom on with Rick. Oh, my God. My mom's in town. I would love to no get, do, do uh, a mom's episode. We uh, don't even need to be there. That'd be fun. <laughs> So I think Rick's right though, Ryan. So yeah, you're driving on? and then your car gets stuck and you just leave it? No, so so there's no other options. So like the the tow company was like scared about bringing their their tow truck down the road I and gotcha. so it's 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 a one lane road at its best. Uh, so you then, this family got stuck in, in the there for the time, winter? <laughs> This is like the shining. <laughs> what redemption do you need? You were in a so you were like, in a situation where no, you're No, but he got them the family couldn't use the only road out because of this 25-year-old exactly. outsider. But it's yeah, not, exactly. 
But what he what else could on, you have done? Rick not is saying fucking go there in the happened. first place. <laughs> so so the the thing is, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have even gone this into the great. road to begin with. Right. Yeah. So like his the the couple's initial attitude when I got there. Why are was you like, on this road? What are you it's doing? It's snowing, here? you fucking goober. <laughs> okay. What do you think you're gonna do? Yeah, Take a yeah, snowmobile exactly. out? But how could they have them. left anyway? If the roads were that bad, they couldn't have left. That's a good point. Hold on, Ryan. Rick brought so, up a good so, point. They, they live there. Oh, they probably they have like one of those like a snow cats. Yeah. They got a snow so, cat? Yeah, they they live there year round. They have a much better car than yeah, mine. They know how like to get up. Tires. I know this uh, because my car yeah. is just like a sedan with, with You're two-wheel fucking drive. putting a sedan up no, there. No tire. I gotta tell you, I'm yeah, kinda, it was a big mistake. <laughs> I'm kinda with them, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan understand Ryan we're not here to I rake know, him over the coals. But we're just getting backstory. Well, we're yeah, but you you're, you're, yeah, yeah, you're exactly. I'm getting hot. You're getting I'm, hot. I'm I'm saying right. Yeah, yeah, and that's fair. That's fair. Sure. I'm yeah. just saying I I need to find a way to redeem myself because I really respect. messed up. <laughs> okay, I, I respect where you're coming from. You're coming hat in hand, which I think is a nice thing. What did? How did they react to you? And who are the people we're dealing with? What's their personality types? Like, for example, Hannah Simone um, has diarrhea. Brad Garrett has farts. That's They're all. all the, I'm just though. talking about types. We're, yeah. Uh, was... Rick Glassman doesn't really fart a lot at work because he's the star of the show. Oh, I am the star of the show. That is correct. I'm not in it the most. <laughs> but I'm not even that necessary. Yeah, so... But I think I'm great. And uh, I fart, but Ryan, I guess what I want to know is, um, uh-huh. you're looking for redemption, and in that, though a just intention, nice. what you're really looking for is something to make you feel better. And what's interesting about Wait, you're that, putting words in his mouth, no, but you're no, saying this like is it's pretty fat. good though. Well, well, it's not. It's not really about Ryan. That shut up for a second. So like, I <laughs> shut up, Ryan. So. If you want redemption, this redemption, this is a victory for you. What I think you want is amends. It's mm-hmm. pretty that true. That was just a lot of word garbage. <laughs> no, I think he's well. And you want more of that? It's so, not dead yet on ABC's <laughs> Wednesdays at eight thirty. Rick's pitch Come is for not the dead farts, yet. stay for the diarrhea. Ryan, I'm sorry. To the leave thing you that up. I'm most concerned about is that you know I was sort of like representing my family who yeah. just sort of got their their place right. there a couple of years ago and mm-hmm. so i'm i'm hoping you know to I'm maybe kinda with you Ryan. You leave know, the re- family get a better reputation yeah. in the neighborhood rather than just, okay so know, here's what i, I oh, need a little bit of information now ryan i actually get where you're coming from i think you're doing the right thing by making amends here you put your family in a tough spot and amends. if i'm the neighbors who got stuck i'm not psyched to have these new neighbors because of their son okay so how did they react to you yeah we spent the next like two hours trying to figure out a way for them to get their package from the end of the road. Cause they had to meet the UPS guys and, uh, this is uh, tough, Ryan. Yeah. To sign for a package. And so, uh, so, you know, things, things smoothed out over time. They weren't like actively mad by the end. And they, they saw how apologetic I was. I like, Help them shovel a little path so they can get their ATV around my car instead of their car. And Oof. my girlfriend came to the rescue and and drove them down the other end of the road Probably had to area. to get uh, <laughs> to get them to their package. Like... <laughs> the guy said the guy said uh, initially he's like, "This is an emergency. We have to get to the end of the road." And then uh, <laughs> and then Christ. it turns out the package they were getting was a sewing machine. I think I got a glimpse of this, and I, I think I got some pitches. Okay, they're going to be down the. They're going to be kind of solid, clean ones. But I know what I would like if this happened to me. And then, just to be clear, there are multiple cabins in this little area, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'd only pissed off one family. People. I understand, but yeah, go ahead. I would go to them with a big package. I would figure out what kind of automobiles they have, and I would get snow chains for each of them. So that you are presenting them with snow chains with a note that says, sorry, it won't happen again. What pissed you off there, Rick? It didn't piss me off. It's just he's 25 and snow chains are expensive. I would suggest getting some nice thread, some nice yarn, some nice wool, something they could use with their sewing machine. It's nice. And you know... (laughs) Jake, keep going. I like it. And, um, you know, this is one of those situations where, you know, I'm pretty sensitive with my apologies. Mm. What I mean by that is not how I apologize, but when and why. Okay. Okay. Are you apologizing for a mistake that you made? Word garbage. Or an inconvenience that you were part of that they had to go through? Because, Ryan, you didn't do anything bad. 
You just try to get to your family. If I know anything, that our our human instincts are you getting are emotional. To be, I, 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 I love cook. my family. Yeah. Okay, Let and I want to go see across. my family. That's coming across. I'm into what you're saying. And if it's snowing, I'm not going to be like, oh, I better not see my family. Yeah, right. I'm going to go see my family. Yeah. And you get stuck in the snow. Let me tell you something. Whether it's literal or metaphorical, we all get stuck in the snow sometimes. Wow. Now, if you got out <laughs> of the snow and you said, fuck it, fuck all these people, fuck their snow machines and their heart, right. then whatever, Ryan sucks. That's not what you did. Even you calling in to this show. We're here to help. It's take you, take it's your there. socks off. Over there. Just shows that you care. I, I, you, know what, you know what the greatest gift is? Yeah. Acknowledgement. You know what the greatest apology is? What? Acknowledgement. You go over there, you knock on the door, you send him a clip of this. You know, if I, was, I don't think you show on. him a clip. Rick, it, if you were running for, <laughs> you know, uh, a, some sort of role as a politician, you I'd know, be too busy because I want to see my family the whole time. You know, yeah, my speech would be after that to connect to the people. Blah, blah, blah. That's what I call diarrhea mouth. Here's the truth. There's so much you diarrhea coming out of my opponent. He might be one of the females on his show. <laughs> All Rick said there to me was politician. Ryan, did you connect with anything I said? Tell me the truth. If not, you owe me a sewing um, machine. No, <laughs> or at least I, thread. I, I, I really, I do like, I, I do think, you know, I agree with a lot of that. I think a big, a big point uh, <laughs> that was sort of, sort of exaggerated was that I... Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't going to visit my family. I only went in to go get some camping equipment because my uh, hold on, buddy okay. you could have gotten that anywhere. You but wanted you did to get it from do your something wrong because you shouldn't have been I in that think, neighborhood in a sedan. I think you're both right. Go okay. 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 Yeah. I okay. think you're both right. Okay. okay. I think there's. I think there's a little land We're in the listening. middle. We're listening. Okay. I think what you're saying, Rick, is true. I think Ryan, what you're trying to do here is. I mean, you feel guilt. And a little embarrassed. And more importantly, the reason why it maybe takes it off, you feel Find it's it. your family. Find it. It's that you've shamed <laughs> your family. The, the acknowledgement for you is one thing, but you're not your family. You've shamed your family's name. You're an outside weirdo. Yeah. You left your car whoa, on a main whoa, whoa. road. <laughs> you <laughs> probably have a drinking problem. Let's be honest, it's Maine. It gets lonely. But I think what you're saying, Jake, is true. You want to do some gesture. So if this is a little community where you feel like your family's new, and I'm going to get a little stereotypical because it's Maine and I don't know much about it. Augusta's the capital, but that's all I got. <laughs> Maine Cousins Lobster from Shark Tank. So we've covered, we, we have a whole episode don't about that on started. accident. So why not in the summer when it she gets a little- She ripped those boys off. <laughs> she really did. Barbara? She's Barbara, like, hey, Barbara stole from those boys, took so much equity, Hold and now just lives off of Let's not relitigate. Home. Agreed, you're in. Okay, That's so why not Cochran. in the why not in the summer? You guys have like a lobster bake or like a clam off or something oh, like yeah, you that. You get Maine cousins lobsters. Yes, yeah. you get Maine's cousin lobsters. So you get everyone out there, and you throw this party as a way of not only welcoming your family into the neighborhood, but also as a way of a little mea culpa of you being like, "Hey, I'm the goofball who left my car, and I'm sorry about that." But now we all no know questions. each other. Uh, Ryan, can I go before yeah. Rick? Please. <laughs> Rick's hand was on the line. All right, Rick. I have first. a suggestion. <laughs> okay, go. Ryan, what do you do for for work? I'm a school psychologist. Thank, thank yeah. you very much. We support That's you. That's awesome. And we support uh, public yeah. school. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you well, said private, how would you have reacted? I, Less I would, supportive. No. Well, here's the thing with but public school. You know the the the. Uh, don't get me started on the funding on the public. But we should be we should be we should be funding Cut. our public schools like we are in our military. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, since they're not, and we are all unbelievably rich. Yes. I think that you guys should help him. Pay for this lobster By thing. thirds. Yeah, we each do. We, we each put in five thousand. You yeah. told uh, Lamorne Morris you were making fourteen million a year. Twelve million 12 a year, million. and that's including merch sales. <laughs> Listen, Ryan, what we're gonna do is we, we're gonna want you. Uh, we'll go twenty five percent each way, the way that Barbara should have done it with the Maine cousins lobster. Uh, okay, Barbara ripped him off. And so, uh, <clears throat> we're gonna help pay for. I'm gonna do another pitch, Ryan. I'm sorry, I oh, can't go down this road. We're not paying for it, Ryan. I don't think you should do a fucking lobster off. <laughs> ben, I'm gonna tell well, you what? why. We I'm haven't a... even heard his reaction to the and uh, lobster Ra off. Is it, Ryan? Nobody what's loves your the reaction title. to lobster off? <laughs> Again, um, I I liked it. I like. I <laughs> you mean, do. you know, I I think you know, I, like, I, I was gonna feel bad if I was you know not gonna getting work. all of your guys' money. 
But Body money's it, it, free. How much cool. do you want? All right. Well, I hold think on. That's a good but thing. Ryan, Ryan, Go, keep Jake. in mind the beginning of this issue, right? It's not that you were mm-hmm. trying to see your family and then nothing happened. You're a fucking outsider who came into a community that doesn't like outsiders. Now you're going to host a lobster Dude, off? A New Yorker version. bringing in a bunch of or lobster? some version. I'm not from Maine. That's I'm offended. Point. You've been writing too many pilots. Yeah. Your whole thing <laughs> this is- This pitch is, is not dead yet. <laughs> you're an exposure. outsider. You're finding yeah, yourself- I'm a doctor who moves to Alaska, and I have to figure it out with the people. <laughs> Lobsters. <laughs> All right. Well, no, what do you got, Here's Jake? my Let's pitch. Hear. I would not do a lobster off because that's not- We understand not, that part. That's not going to work at the end of my pilot. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you what will work for my pilot. It's about a bunch of people who are not dead yet and all the women have explosive <laughs> diarrhea. The and Rick you get wheels. one of the gals from New Girl and then you get the other one who is the lead of Jane the Virgin, which is a show I've watched in, in its entirety. And what it's about great. one of the girls from Superstore? Uh, Superstore. And then one of the guys- from which you might not know everybody because, loves raymond oh that's amazing Wait a amazing minute. but the thing is you guys are so into comedy you might know about not know about dramas i a drama background yeah, award-winning sure. uh-huh. as we see it amazon right? prime yeah okay. so what award uh uh, we, uh i'm a kid's awards. choice uh ensemble oh nominee uh, jake i mean as your friend you brag. must have something better no <laughs> <laughs> that'll do it ryan that'll do it. <laughs> ryan yeah. ryan Ryan, I, well, I got my pitch. Okay. Ryan, yeah, with Ryan, an R. I, yeah, Ryan with an Ryan R, of course. R, we yeah. all assumed that. Sure. Rick, Rick was just <laughs> finding a transition. Yeah. I just find it polite when, when you're speaking to somebody, you say their name three times, you say it, you question it, and you assert it. Okay. So, Ryan, <laughs> Ryan, no, Ryan. No, no, it's uh, Ryan. Ryan. Ryan? <laughs> Ryan. Yeah, that's me. Okay. So, here's what I would do. And you could do this on Etsy. Mm. Uh, and I know this because I've done it on Etsy. Okay. You find a company that engraves things in tools. Tombstones. No, oh. that's not what I'm pitching. Okay, I'm not on. pitching you give them a tombstone. Okay, I was going to say, it's a bad direction. <laughs> you get a shovel, a big winter shovel. If we're talking economics, we're talking $40. Ryan, you can afford that. On that, I you say- We could each ship in 10. Sorry, uh, can, yeah. Rick will send some money. We'll figure out the finance. We'll say, right on it from Etsy, you can have it engraved in the wooden handle. Sorry about blocking you in in the winter of 2023. Won't happen again. And on the back, watch Not Dead Yet, ABC Wednesdays. If you 30. do that, we pay for it. That's, yeah, that's how we're going to be. <laughs> we turn again. this into a Not Dead right, Yet promo. Good. But that's what do you think deal. about giving them a, a, a kind of a gag gift, a mem- but a, bu- a big shovel a with an apology so that he can go? Is one shovel enough? Is it w- is one family? This one cabin? Um. Yeah, so I only interacted with the one uh, yeah. who I passed another guy on my way in, but uh, but there was only one family who was pissed off, and he'll tell others, and then everybody will go, "He's a good guy, he meant well." Rick's <laughs> done. He's fixing. I do like his that. Hair. I, you like that? So w- is that something you would consider doing? Uh, yeah, definitely. Great. Yeah, I think I do think you f- that would that would be very well received. So here's what we have as pitches right now: we have a lobster off. I didn't give any pitch yet. What's your pitch? You he didn't do anything wrong. You're running for office. No, it's or not. Or give money to public schools. You know, not doing anything wrong is is it, it, it isn't enough information. It's like saying, "Oh, but I meant well." Intention matters, but it's not the only variable. What I I was complimenting that one. That uh, was confusing because of our other one, but I was giving was the, like, like a poet. I just okay. didn't want to go over your audio. So uh, I'm uh, I was less speaking on. I'm speaking to a psychologist. He gets it. You guys don't get it. He gets it. Yeah, right. We're I'm lost. speaking less on what needs to be done and more about the feeling because he's not calling in because he needs a shovel or a lobster. He's calling in because something isn't sitting right. You liked the lobster pitch, to be fair, but keep going. I don't eat. Rats. Okay. Okay. All right. We're well, well eat lobster. Well, well marketed <laughs> <I don't>. rats. <laughs> Very well marketed rats. All right. Keep going. But what I'm suggesting is whatever it is that's best to do could be great. <laughs> but but why are we, I, I'm wondering why are we doing this? And if you're feeling what I noticed is he, I'm watching the presidential debates. What I'm noticing is, and something that I don't like, and I understand, and I've been there, I've been 25, I was two years ago, but what I don't like you is- You can't be 27. Mm-hmm. Let really? him go. Let him rip. How old do you think I am? 48. 
<laughs> is that the fact that you feel shame is something, you know, a shovel might make somebody else feel happy, but that's not going to dig into your subconscious. Nice. Mm, well done. An emotional okay? shovel. If you're feeling shame, it's because you're judging yourself. And that's what I meant about you didn't do anything wrong. You made a mistake. You got stuck in the snow. Sure. But you're not a, there's nothing to be ashamed of. You know what? You know what you should be ashamed of if you that. do it again tomorrow. You know what you should be ashamed yeah. of if if the guy told you, "Hey, you're getting in the way," and you're like, "I don't care," and you didn't help him get his sewing machine. I think you did everything right. You know what you did? You were a human that was considerate. Buy a shovel, get some lobster, watch Not Dead Yet on ABC on Wednesdays. I don't care. What I do care about <laughs> is you recognizing the shame is something that's a choice. And as much as you might want to gift this neighbor at your camp something so he feels better, I want you to gift yourself a little bit of solitude and a little bit of trust that, hey, you didn't know. You were trying to get some stuff from your family. Shit happens. You shoveled it out. I think you're, and you're working for the public school system. You got, you're, we got to send you some money. You know what this reminds me of? First of all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Great. But this yeah. reminds me of when I was in high school and I was going through a troubled phase. Sure. And I had long hair. And uh -oh. uh, I, I wasn't in school. Dope. I had taken some time out of school. Everyone was doping. I was smoking a lot of grass, yes. My mother found some random guy in Evanston uh -oh. who claimed to be a motivational speaker. Uh -oh. And he was going Here's to your set next pitch. Me Did you meet him in a bathroom? There was a barber shop on the corner, and he was outside the barber shop. Yeah, like most motivational speakers. And I feel like you're going to insult me right now. No. But Good. he came and had that <laughs> same tone. Uh, and was well, talking at me. Not dead yet. <laughs> but was talking at me, doing a lot of, and what do you think you're going to do? And then I would go like, I got a question. In terms of today, and then he would go, and with that long hair you got, you're going to fly away? He goes, Are those going to turn into wings and they're going to fly you into another situation? And in the middle of it, I thought, because he would always come to an end. He'd go, because the only place that you're going to be able to fly is to unemployment line. If you keep, And I would go, you pulled that together, but I don't think you knew what you were There's saying when you started. Jake, <laughs> Jake, what I'm hearing is you're a troubled kid with long hair wings and you're smoking dope and you're out of school. You meet this guy, then you're a TV star. What happened? I'll tell you what happened. This is true. My mom was into it. I wasn't. He said, my mom goes, so what would you like to do? And he said, I want to take him on a boat in Lake Michigan. <laughs> without." No, he said, without you to my mom, Eve. And I looked at her and I went like, we just met this man. I can't go on a boat with this fool. And then my mom snapped into reality and goes, what do you want to do with my son on a boat? And she's like, we need to talk man to man. And my mom goes, no, no. And he left. And we never well, Ryan, I don't know again. what he's talking about. I'm not in any of that. <laughs> well, but if you want me to fly you to L.A., and just hang out with me somewhere. It's a pitch. On a boat. It's a pitch. I would do that. It's a pitch. So, Ryan. But, Jake, real quick. When you got new girl, yeah. long hair, short hair? Short hair. Interesting. Quite. <laughs> Bottom line him. Go ahead. It's just inter it's interesting. Rye guy, the only guy who's yeah. got your fucking ass on this. Wow. What we've pitched to you is hmm, lobster off from Gareth. Thank you. I don't know from I'm Rick. I'm pitching to him some 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 self acceptance. An yes. emotional shovel. But from Rick, I guess what Rick is saying <laughs> is you did nothing wrong. No, no, no. It's not it's not that a mistake wasn't made. Okay, right. I'm I'm saying I, the only thing he did wrong was being a human being. Right. But you know what? Guilty. How about wow. you? Guilty. How about you? Oh yeah. How about a murderer? How about the guy? Well, that's not just yeah, but you know a lot of what bodies. I'm saying is what I'm saying is the snow fucked things up. No, can't blame the snow. His car <laughs> By the way, that's a good that's a good shovel engravement. He had yeah. it. Hold on, the Rick, snow you had it. Up. You had it. You knew you said snow funny, and it got it. all the wires. <laughs> you had it. So what Rick is saying is just accept the fact that you're human and blame it on the snow. What no. I'm saying, no. no, you don't blame it on the snow. Take accountability. <laughs> Take accountability for what yeah. you did and don't feel ashamed of it. Or if Own you it. do, feel it. And then later on, question, what could I have done different? Did you find an answer? Then follow that. If not, 
then you didn't grow. Listen, if I never made any mistakes, I would never grow. Agreed. So what is like a one, because the advice- the Acknowledgement. Ed you go up to him. You say, I'm sorry for what I did. If there's anything I could do to help. Ooh. And by the way, get him a shovel, get him some lobsters, whatever. Wait, but the hold biggest- on. You just took everyone's advice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying- Nice. Go over there and say, I'm sorry. I've been feeling really bad. Knowing what I know now, I should not have done that, but- you know, and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, next time I won't do that. I'll get some chains or you, you live this life. Do you have any suggestions so I could come see my family more I could do? And also, let me pay, get up to you. If you're a person that likes to socialize, we could get lunch. If not, Slow, I could send it in. This is a lot for a guy in Maine. Listen, His head will explode. Listen, there's, so, there's, there's some good stuff yes, in there. So you can, why don't you bottom, why I'm gonna, don't you bottom Ryan, line I'm going to bottom line it. You do a lobster off in the summer. You do what Rick suggested, and that is acknowledge it. Both to him and to yourself. More to him. On 50, his 50. doorstep, more to I, him. I would say- I'd yeah. say 60, 40, 60 Leave years, the right? breakthroughs really? for the car ride over and for you. For me, I would say get him a shovel that <laughs> 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 says, sorry, won't happen again. Ryan, the floor is yours. What are you going to do? Um, so I, I really appreciate the uh, the pep talk. Yep. I feel like I already have, uh, you know, I, it's not really based on shame for me. It's more like, you know, I just want to, uh, take responsibility, that Seems sort of thing. And, and right, also, Jake. sorry, I'm not gonna, no, 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 And so I, I do like that. And, um, you know, I, I like the, uh, the lobster idea. It, it, you know, I did, I was hesitant to accept your money before, but if, if you know, if that's still on the table, I'm not paying for a lobster. lobster. If you're not ashamed, the money's gone. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Gareth will pay for it. Gareth, get the, how, Gareth might get the how food truck. did this happen? <laughs> I, I renounce uh, my pitch. <laughs> and so no, you're, you're now fine, saying you're if Gareth will pay for a uh, lobster truck, you'll get that. Look, man. I'll get you five lobsters. Don't do it in winter. So where yeah, are you I mean, at? I How do we end really this, Brad? I'm actually but, against um, lobster <laughs> eating. Same. I am too. Big time. And yeah. the boiling no, of that them? Makes sense. Yes, yeah. horrible. It's gross. Horrible. Yeah. I think, all right, I think lobsters. All right, how about this? You show up with some vegan cheeses. Ryan. Ryan. The floor is yours. What are you, yeah, gonna, but, what are you yeah, going think, to do? I Say it in a what sentence. I'm actually gonna do, what I'm actually going to do is probably uh, get the shovel okay. with the cool engraving, probably some, some sewing things as well. You know, one for one for both of great the couple that. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. That's great. You get her some yeah. thread. You'll get him a shovel. You'll say you're sorry. You say it won't happen again. You move on. You know what might be cute is if you give her the shovel and him the thread. Mm -hmm. It might be. But let's not swing for the fences. <laughs> that's for round two. Oh my God, you're so special. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you really are. Well, I'll figure out the right way to arrange you. Ryan, okay. we wish you the best. And in closing, don't fucking bring the wrong car to a snowy road. <laughs> You've got to act like them when you're there, right, buddy? Well, you know, he knows that now. Well, That's actually a great, like. I do. I do. You know what they say? You I never... knew it before. Yeah. When in Rome. Never bring the wrong car to a snowy road. Yeah. Oh, that's a great saying. Yeah. Merch. More Try of an icy merch. Road. Put to engrave that on a shovel. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's the uh, never and, bring the wrong car to a snowy road. Quote Rick Glassman, comma no, not dead yet. That was you who said it. You, but you put it into better words. I was uh, around the idea. I mean, it's a shovel. We're, like room space is limited. There's a, lot, so there's we, a big handle. Yeah, Rick, Ryan. Oh, I was picturing it on the shovel, not the handle. No, it'd be the handle. You got to engrave it in the wood. It's not gonna be a wooden shovel. You can't do that. The uh, you can engrave metal. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> My room is fucking. <laughs> All right, thanks. Thanks, Ryan. Bye. By the way, Ryan's 27 now. Thanks so much now. for your help, guys. Big fan. <laughs> You're welcome, Ryan. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Wow, this is fun. Can I do this, guys? Can I do this with you guys all the time and yeah. profit, profit split? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we got to pay for a lobster. <laughs> Today's episode is brought to you by Babbel. That's right, Jake. Listen, you know what Babbel is, right? Science-backed language learning app that actually works, which I find to be very important. Science-backed, Jake. Listen, don't bother paying hundreds of dollars for a private tutor. They come over. They're like asking for snacks. They're being annoying. They're, or, or even waste hours on apps that don't really help. We're here to help, and Babbel is going to help you. Babbel's tips and tools are approachable, accessible, rooted in real-life situations, so, uh, Jake, for instance, if you want to learn, uh, I started re relearning French through Babbel a little bit. Yes, because I used to know French, but then I don't know French, uh, but it's still there. You know what I like about it is that it's got a, a speech recognition technology. Yep. Because the problem with learning a new language is if you sound like you're from another country. Yes. 
if it can actually help with the accent, yes. that's a big ass turn. And applicable to situations you're going to find yourself in. Like yes. when I think back to taking French, it was just like so much of it was like, I'm never going to do yes, that. 100%. It's like, how do you order food? How do you get a drink? How yes. do you ask for directions? But so Babel's great. Now, listen. Listen, everybody. Should we bring him in? Wait, one quick pause. Should we bring in the closing? Studies from Yale, this is interesting, Michigan State University and others, prove that Babel is better. So one study found that using Babel for 15 hours is equivalent to a full semester at college. Crazy. So if that's true, which Yale's no joke, it's just putting schooling in a, a different light. Yes. If you spend 15 hours, let's say you didn't go to college, and you always feel like, well, I don't know, I didn't go to college. 15 hours, you just did a semester. Yeah. That's yeah. wild. Yes. That is, yes. That's a wild study. So speaking of language, yes. should we bring in the closer or should I do it? Closer. All right. Hold on. Let's get him. Kevin? Doors open. All Come right. On oh, oh, you meant Gil. Yeah. I, I, I meant Kevin. What? I thought Kevin was going to do it. No, I thought we were talking about the closer. The well, you were. Kevin. He parked in front of all our cars, so might as well. Oh, uh, we can't leave. Well, what's yeah. what's the problem? Go ahead. Uh, so the, uh, that old jalopy is Gills? Yes. Gotcha. A jalopy? And you can turn it off, I guess. No, nah, keep here. it running. It, I want the it's, it's bad for sound. A lot of smoke. Lot I'm, of smoke. Pa I'm pausing a serious XM. Now, listen, here's a special limited time deal for our listeners. Right now, get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners. This isn't for people who don't listen, like Laura from one of the calls earlier. <laughs> <laughs> These are standalone. At babble.com slash HTH. Jake, let me finish. Get 55% off babble.com slash HTH. Spelled B A B B E L dot com slash HTH. We're going to watch it a babble. We watch it a babble. I'll tell you what, I don't want to babble your ear off. I got to go back to the jalopy. Rules and restrictions may apply. This episode is obviously brought to you by Kleenex. Jake, Jake. Ultra soft tissues. So this is for Kleenex. It, it helps tackle your allergy yes. symptoms. So if you have symptoms for allergies, this, this is the way you to You want to know what I'm going to tell you why I like what? Kleenex? Why? Because Kleenex is such a successful company that I view a soft little piece of paper that you use. Yeah. I call it Kleenex. You know, that Even is- Even if it's not the damn brand, That's Garth. what a brand wants. A brand wants this. How and I'm we, not kidding. Yeah. Ooh. If you rub this, Ew. <laughs> if you rub this, have you ever used a fucking Kleenex Feel before? That. You that. weird cave person. But have you? But there's Garf, quality. Garf, this is, is not quality. how people use Kleenex. No, but I'm, I'm doing human animal. No, I'm boy. doing my southern attorney. Uh, <laughs> let me uh, quickly cross-examine, if I may. Just one more. Yeah. This is for your Columbo bit. Yeah. Just one more thing, ma'am. Oh my god. You know what, Kleenex? Thank you. I will always have a box. We'll always have one here. And when in I had two ideas, two bits. Okay. If and if a pitch is hard, we use it. Or if the other guy's bit is getting sweaty, you just go like this. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's going to be horrible. Uh, listen, Kleenex uh, Ultra Soft Tissues Very are soft. hypoallergenic yes. and allergist approved. <laughs> so you can attack watery eyes, battle runny noses without worrying about irritating your skin. We love Kleenex. Obviously, we use Kleenex. We're going to be using Kleenex more oh, on the show. Oh, uh, it's actually very soft. Whether they are, the gentleman lacks it or not. So for this allergy season, grab Kleenex and face allergies head on. We'll be glad you did. Okay. Hello, caller. Welcome to We're Here to Help. Can we get uh, your name, your age, and where you're calling from, please? My name is Matt. I'm 23, and I'm in Southern California. Nice. What part of Southern California, Matt? Uh, Los Angeles County. I'm in the city of industry right now. Ah. Wow, great. Um, All right, Matt. What's going on? Talk to us. So I have this friend who I met pretty much at the start of COVID. I first, we're not like close friends, but we're good friends. About two years into our friendship, I kind of picked up on him liking basketball. So I kind of started getting involved in that conversation, like talking about basketball, sending him memes on like Instagram. But my problem is I never have watched a single game of basketball in my life. Why would you? Well, okay, let, let's let's name the friend. Let's just call him Brad for now. Is that okay? That's fine. Why? Why would you? Because he wanted to connect. Garth. Yeah, but why? Jake, don't. Why? Why would I'm you? I'm with Maddie. 
No, you're not. I well, am. You, I you, am. But if you had no frame of reference. You want the absolute truth? Yes. You're going to get annoyed with this and be triggered. I don't care about yeah, the yeah. NFL as much as you do. But Lies. I do. I so said, this is what I'm saying. There's you're no a talk. liar. There's no talk. You're a liar. <laughs> you don't care because you've been hurt. Okay. Um, I told you what was going to happen and it happened. Yeah, but it's Matt, I'm going to I'm going to talk now. So I am with you. I actually do this with Eric too. I send Eric Edelstein uh, NBA stuff and MLB stuff. I haven't watched a basketball game or a baseball game in years, <laughs> but it pops up on my algorithm. I know we'll have like okay. a funny back and forth. I kind of get that a little so bit. So he's like, he met a guy. He likes him. The guy's really into the NBA. He's on Instagram. There's a thing about... I know the new kid on San Antonio is about 7'7". Seven, seven. Mm -hmm. So there's another guy in Oklahoma about 7'5". So you could send a photo of them and be like, Twin Towers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So is, that, is that kind of what it's like, Matt? Is that the kind of vibe? It's kind of. I, I follow hockey closely, so I'm already following like sports pages. So whenever I see basketball stuff pop up, I would just send it to him. Okay. And we would have conversations where I kind of BS my way through it. Okay. But are you, question on that, are you BSing your way through it? Walk me through what that looks like. Like, he'll name a player, and I'll be like, yeah, you know, like, his three-point game's been a little off lately, but he's overall pretty good. And you're making it up. Yeah. And I is, don't watch basketball. Is Brad buying this? Like, is he like, exactly. I know what's going to happen here. Brad's yeah, never yeah, watched a game of NBA. Yeah, oh, that would be the fucking <laughs> Because greatest. if you do that, if, you go, if he goes like, yeah, LeBron James is pretty good, and you go like, for a little guy, he can handle the ball, and he goes, he's the best little man in the he's game. He's a tiny boy. <laughs> and neither of you watch sports. Yeah. And you guys got to figure out what you like and, and just hang and out. And at the same time, you go, I don't like basketball. Because <laughs> what I can't do with my little uh, post to Eric or whatever is when he starts going in the weeds and he'll go, yeah, the kid Chet on Oklahoma City went to Gonzaga, and SGA is really good, and I have to write back, who the hell is SGA? Well, that is why the thumbs-up response yes. on a text is the greatest. Yes, it's agreed. just a way of being like, we're done here, we're but good. I agree. We're good. So, Matt, walk us through it. So you send this stuff to Brad. You have BSed your way through it. It's a two-year friendship. Where are we at now? The floor is yours. I mean, lately, I've been very busy, but... I don't know if you guys are familiar with Discord. We kind of talk mm -hmm. over that. I'm not. And every so often a conversation comes up. We, you know, shoot crap. And I shoot pretend like I know basketball did you all say day long. Did you say shoot crap as a term? Shoot the crap, yeah. It's different. Shoot I don't know, man. Let's just hang out. Let's just shoot crap. Yeah, <laughs> by the way, <laughs> shoot crap is... I've done that. By the way, you're BSing like you're a regular dude right now yeah, on a call-in show. I feel, and I'm calling you out, man. I feel like you've never listened to the podcast. And I also <laughs> feel like you've never said a term like that before. Shoot the crap. Shoot the crap is what I would say as like a seven-year-old to just like legally yeah. my way out of trouble with my parents when I wanted to say shoot the shit. Or somebody from... Yeah, a, you know, or an alien. Or AI. It feels like AI right now. Shall about, we like, go to the downtown yeah. and shoot the crap? Or AI writing something about, like, just how dudes talk sports. Let's just talk sports. I love the basketball. Those guys are shooting crap. So, Matt, where are we at? So, you guys are kind of talking. What is the problem? We now have the setup. How do I get out of the lie? Or should I continue mm. the lie for our whole friendship? Has the issue, has the rubber met the road, you know, in terms of shoot crap? Um <laughs> <laughs> Has Brad got close to calling you out? Where are you guys at? The question is, apart from wanting to be on a podcast because it's a lot of fun and we're glad you called, why are you calling now? Mm -hmm. As as much as he hasn't really pushed back on it, yeah, I'm afraid my knowledge and BS can only go so far, and yeah. at some point he is going to push me on it. He's going to well, figure have... out you're just shooting crap, and yeah. he's going to call you. <laughs> you have two options. One is you start watching basketball, or the other is you find your way to kind of Sneak out Homer Simpson into the bushes. There's a third option. Go. I mean, both of those options are good. You, you watch basketball pretty soon, you could shoot crap pretty easily. Yeah. Two, you could just disappear from it. But I think the rubber will meet the road, shoot crap on that. Mm -hmm. And boy, <laughs> three, you <laughs> cut to Jake writing a movie called Shoot the Crap. <laughs> shoot crap. <laughs> Or three, rubber road shoot crap. You go Stop right to the sky. Shoot crap. You go what? You go right to Brad and you go, I've never watched a game of basketball in my whole life. Mm. And he goes, Huh? It's weird. If the, wouldn't that be weird? <laughs> Don't you yes. think that would be strange yeah. for nope. a friend? I think, Gosh, I think the whole thing's weird. The whole thing is weird. But out of those, I would opt for this is what I would do. I would find a way to be done with the NBA. 
like you with oh, football. Interesting. Because your team is dog shit. I think and all I think they we're are be better are than the, I think we're going to be better than terrible the Packers team. Next Hold year. on, I'm in the middle of my pitch. Because you have been burned so much by your team and they're garbage and they just kind of string you so along. So are the Packers. Jake, please. Wait, what team just, do I want to compare you guys to? Oh, you know who you guys are? I was going to text you this to trigger you. You guys are like the Cowboys. Great. The point is to go far. Jake. But do you think the Cowboys will ever win it? Jake, it's a little inside football. Um, so <laughs> Shoot so what I would do, what I would do is I would come up with a way to be done. I would be like, you're sick of like the you hate the foul calls. Everything's a travel. Those are kind of just like these Oh, that's interesting. These big complaints that I even have about the game. I would come up with one of those and kind of just be like, you know, this is what Jake does. Jake is always walking away from football, but he still has enough to talk about it. So he's still, I That's think true. you just say, like, what's in the NFL? It's like, what is a catch anymore? You find one I of these agree. things where you just basically go, I'm fucking done. I can't handle anymore. The, the, everyone travels. There's too many easy foul calls. The refs decide the game, I, I, Matt, something I, like Matt, that. Matt, I kind of think Garf is onto something. Because one of the things that does c- keep me connected to sports uh, is I do like to read about it. Yeah. So like the general manager, what the Bears are doing in the off season, it's really fun stuff. Sure. So reading about all the off season stuff, it's a very easy thing to text Garf about it. Yeah. But watching games has gotten annoying when you go to like I don't know what a catch is. Yep. The new kickoff rules. Yes. They'll be like, there's so. By the way, a hip tackle. They made a new thing I read about where I'm like. There's going to be the weirdest 15-yard penalties that'll truly make the game less fun to watch. So one thing you can do if you want to get out of this is Google weird NBA rules Yes, and just text Brad a few of them and be like, dude, I'm fading on... It happened to me. Yeah. Once a defender couldn't hand check anymore... If you can't put your hands on I'll another man's there. hips, why am I watching? The, the easy, but the three, the three, the, like the three-point shot yes. where you fake the foul, yes. those, those kind of just get so old. So I would even, yeah, I would just Google white people stop watching the NBA. You say white people? White people stop watching the NBA. It's a demand. Easy. White people, that's not <laughs> yeah. for, no. Hey, Gareth, white people. Gareth, sure. E- easy. Okay, you're absolutely right. We're in a dangerous zone. <laughs> you are, I, not we. We are, the show is. You are. The show is. Kevin's not, I'm not, Headgum's fine. The show, Gareth you and I are into dangerous com waters. You says no. White <laughs> people don't watch the NBA. No. Hey, I'll why, say, let, me, I, let me talk. Mute Jake, him. You're mute. Will you mute him? Don't mute me. Will you mute him? Yeah, you can't mute can't me. He's talk. cut. He's cut. There's another mic. <laughs> <laughs> you ripped it off the wall. So, Matt, what do you think about trying the play? And that is you start pretending to be annoyed yeah. with how the league is changing with the hope of bridging that into a new connection with Brad. Mm-hmm. That's not a bad idea, actually. I think I can get that done. Okay. And then here's another question. What's going on, my king? Why'd you fake this? Yeah. Who hurt you? I, I have the lie? Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I just, I guess I definitely wanted to feel a connection, but I felt like I follow hockey. I like sports. I can probably fake this. What is it about Brad that made you want to connect so much? He's just pretty funny. I like talking okay. to him about anything. It's really easy to well. Laugh I feel the same way with Gary. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Jake. Don't you're back in the good books. Um, <laughs> I, I get it. I think you do the switcheroo now. I mean, you just say yeah. you know, just do something where you say, "I'm done with the NBA. I'm going full in on hockey." See what he says. Say you'll watch Ooh, the playoffs. I have an idea. Go. I have an idea. Go. I love what Garf just said where you go, hey, man, the NBA is annoying the hell out of me these days. Blah, blah, with the traveling, with all the – find a few rules and then go, I'm getting pretty into hockey. Yeah. You ever interested yeah. in uh, going to a game or blah, blah, blah? That's good. And try to get him into hockey. Try- and you can use how the NBA has fallen off, but – the NHL is really picking up. Let's Matt Brad. Make Let's Brad Matt, the one sending yeah. you the hockey thing. I, I think that's good. I would do something like that. I would I would try to just bring him block. in. The, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's yeah, exactly. Right. You know what this is called, essentially? And it's not an exact. This is called, uh, this is a body swap. It's the switcheroo. The switcheroo. I wanted to call it the parent trap, but it's not the parent trap. It's not. This is the Freaky sw- Friday. This is Freaky Friday. It's Freaky Friday. So you should yes. Freaky Friday him yes. and get him going to you. Dude, the Penguins are an amazing franchise. Yep. And you go, they're the best. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they're the best. And then he goes, 
Did you, this goon, this guy, guy who's just a goon, all he does is fight, and you go, he'll be back in the minors in two weeks. And he Googles, do they go back to, are there minor leagues? Yeah. And then start sending him hockey stuff, let him catch up, do a fucking freaky Friday, and yep. I think we win here. Matt, are yep. you going to do it? I can definitely do that. I think that's a genius idea. Um, what is going to be your initial text start? Uh, I might send him a post about maybe a penalty or something and be like, wow, this penalty has really gone out of hand are these you... last few years in the NBA. Sorry. Let me get Wait, into hockey. You want to try getting Ma into hockey? Matt, are you going to ask if he's AI? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> I, if, I were, if I were Brad, <laughs> yes. I would know that Matt doesn't watch basketball because he just said, man, these penalties are out of hand, which I don't <laughs> think. That was a filler term. Like yeah, I got say okay. uh, yeah, Post fouls. about traveling. Yes. This traveling is going out of hand. This traveling. Again, I'm not. <laughs> Matt, by Matt, the way, Matt, are you yeah, convincing Matt, AI? You know, Matt, are we talking to AI right are now? Are you shooting crap? <laughs> Hey, these I'm basketball plays with the traveling is out of hand. The dribble hands is going <laughs> wild on the courts this month. All the guys want to do is catch catfish in the riverbed and shoot crap. <laughs> Big old swish from the tall man. <laughs> All I love to see is alley-oop dunkaroos. <laughs> wow, through the legs, two-hander. <laughs> so, Matt, are you a human boy? <laughs> I'd like to hope. <laughs> Me too, man. I feel the same way. Listen, I'm not teasing. I'm, I'm related. Not, I'm not saying walk away from this friendship conversation. <laughs> Run. The fact that you've gotten two years into this and he hasn't poked a hole is. Rem I bet you, Jake's right. He's never watched basketball either. Matt, I think you and Brad are both two. Steph Curry AI, in the penalty got, box for two minutes. You guys are both robots writing to each other. Oh and man, and you don't know the other ones are. <laughs> Have you met in person? Yeah. Are you just a bunch of ones and zeros? <laughs> you, you guys, this is the first. AI robot love story. <laughs> Matt the robot has been programmed, uh. but like his programmer did not teach him how to make friends. And Brad the robot is also a very lonely <laughs> robot boy. What is love? Yeah. What is friendship? What All is I want to do is shoot crap. <laughs> shoot <laughs> crap. <laughs> there have been four or five red flags, but either way. I think you're going to win here, Matt. I do too. I think it's not going to be that hard. I would just, yeah, like we're saying, I would make that transition to hockey and quick. Um, and, uh, and see where it goes. And even if he doesn't meet you there, I think you could still, you could save it if you needed to. Yeah. You can walk away. But from what, what do you think about, because what we don't want to do really fast. And I know Kevin's ready for us to move on. He's doing like, he's doing, he's, the doing, he's doing the kid in the back of church. He looks like so he has, bored. it looks like his pans have to pee. <laughs> I didn't know clouds go that way. <laughs> uh, but before we get off with Matt, I'm sorry, I'm just feeling invested in this friendship. Is there a world where rather than talk about the traveling penalties are being so bad for the game of basketball, can you just send him something about hockey? Like, who's the kid the Blackhawks just drafted? Oh, There's yeah. some 18 year old the kid. Right? Yes. Yeah. So he's, I've never watched a game of hockey in my life, a full game. I know that this kid is the next Wayne Gretzky. He is special. I've read about him, I saw a little documentary on him. Can you send Brad? a little something about this kid mm -hmm. and go like, dude, I know you're not a big hockey guy, but this is the Jordan yeah. of hockey. Mixing in a little hockey lately. And so that all of a sudden he could go like, everybody wants to see greatness. Yeah. And maybe you can just transition him and we go back to the switcheroo. Mix it in. See, see what he does. See, see what his temperature is on hockey. But I think that's the right look. Either way, you're going to walk away from the basketball one, but I think that's right. I think framing but it I in think, that way. I just don't want Matt to lose Brad. He's not going to lose Brad. Brad's not even real. <laughs> I think that's way <laughs> easier to But neither is Matt and Matt cares. With that. I know. So, Matt, what would you say, bud? I said I think that would be way easier to not be a robot. Yeah. Doing that. Well, yeah. why don't you do that? Start with that. And then I think, again, if you Google reasons people quit watching the NBA, you'll find plenty of them. And, uh, and mix those two in and let us know how it goes. Awesome. Thank and, you, guys. And will you actually follow up with us on this one? Yeah. And maybe, yeah, maybe, I will definitely follow up with you guys. Maybe a screenshot. Maybe a screenshot, maybe a screenshot of this first initial hockey. Also, maybe a message. screenshot of you just so we know. Maybe with you and like, do a real boy. Like this. If you a human take boy a picture, would be cool. Take a picture of you with a mirror beside you so we can sort of see. Although the problem is, is AI is so good, we couldn't. I don't know. Kate Middleton got busted. So I think doing we what? Oh, Photoshop. I just like. Oh, you is that today... what that whole conspiracy was? Yeah, you you with today's yeah. paper and a couple mirrors around you, and and that's all we need to confirm that this actually happened. Okay, I'll find the nearest mirror mate. Okay, awesome. thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. Go shoot crap. 
Bye, bud. Okay, <laughs> I will. Take care, guys. This episode is brought to you by ZocDoc. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. Garf, what does that mean to you? Well, it means a lot because as you know, my mother was in town for a while. Uh, She had a hip replacement and it was crazy. It was a crazy situation. And there were so many times, so many things like complications were popping up. And there were multiple times where we wanted to find a doctor appointment quickly, somewhere close. You use ZocDoc. Yeah, you would use ZocDoc. Because because it's, it's... it's just so much harder if you're just like, you know, like using search engines to try to Agreed. find someone and then you call, do they take your insurance? Yeah, but the problem Doc also, Doc yes, has it's filters all there. for all the that. The problem with also just searching it is all the ads pop up. Yes. And what I like, I actually use ZocTech we, since we started doing it. I do like that it keeps it really clean and you can put all your information in. Yeah. Did you use ZocDoc? For your knee. I did use ZocDoc <laughs> for my knee, which I am going to get an MRI on. Oh, you uh, are? But we don't think it's a tear. That's the good news. But I am going to get an MRI. Uh, the doctor report back, it's just an old man's knee. It's actually pretty much what it sounded like. That's what like. a doctor said to me about my hips. I'm getting to the point where it's sad when doctors are just like, yeah, you're just the... Uh... He goes, uh, I've had a doctor who looked at my body and then went like this. Well, you're mid-40s, yeah? Ugh, what a jerk. Uh, well, that guy's hopefully not on ZocDoc. But but again, it really does. It filters specifically for doctors that take your insurance located near you. Treat basically. And again, you can get an appointment quickly. You so can also listen. get it same day. That's absolutely right, Jake, if you're lucky. Uh, that's right. Gil Buchanan, ones and two, 68 balmy. Don't worry about it. That's right. I've been kept in the closet for a while on this show, but I'm back for the ads. Good to see you, brother. You never, get a fist bump? literally never left. <laughs> Go to ZocDoc.com slash HTH and download the ZocDoc app for free. Did you hear how much does that cost you? Free. Free, that's right. And then find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash HTH. ZocDoc.com slash HTH. Hi there. Welcome back to We're Here to Help. Uh, we know that we've talked to you before, but we have no clue what it was about or who you are. So do you want to just give us a little update? Jake's here, too. Jake, say hi to whoever this is. Hi. Okay, great. So, uh, so, <laughs> so, so who uh, who are we talking to and what's going on? What's the update? All right. So my name is Kate. I called in about um, the uh, porn star dog sitter. Oh um, yes, porn star dog sitter. You, your dog sitter came. Her boyfriend brought a camera. Uh, you yeah, then, yeah. Kate, did the maniac move of firing her and saying, signing on to hold on, Gareth. You can't put that photo up. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm still Kate. Here. <laughs> I have to. It my wi- it helps my Wi-Fi. It okay, gotcha, my Wi-Fi. gotcha, gotcha. Little glitchy. Uh, so, Kate, uh, you then did this. Okay, you you this... fired her. Uh, so, where are we at now? Well, okay. <laughs> the question was whether to ask her if anything had been going on in the house or not. Um, and the advice that you all gave me, like it was split at first. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, in the end, I decided, you know, no, I'm not going to say anything to her. I don't want to offend her. She's a nice person and sure. whatever. I was just going to leave it there. And then my curiosity got the better of me. Oh, good for and- you, Kate. Good. We like to but, but you, by, by the way, I don't think you'd be on this follow up yeah. if the curiosity didn't get the better of you. But also, Gareth, <laughs> you, whatever you are, Kate, you are part of the community. I know the community doesn't have a name yet, but to follow up after yes. firing a woman yes. for having an OnlyFans. That makes you a true helper or whatever yeah. the term is. <laughs> I, didn't fire her. I didn't fire her for, you f- for having the account. I, I'm just not going to hire her, hire her back. Like, right. okay. there, there was no firing involved. And I okay, really, right. really have no judgment for well, what she does for a living. It's not. I, I agree. Really you just don't, don't, you just don't want it in your house. Yeah, you just don't want to be a set. You're a house, not a set. <laughs> <laughs> B- by the way, Kate, I'm sorry, no. really fast. Gareth has a photo don't, up don't. because of his, his reception Do where not. it's fire orange hair with a huge mullet on a boat. It's, and Gareth, don't it's, sleep on, it's, don't sleep on the teeth. Don't it's sleep throwing on the teeth. me in a real way. Don't sleep on the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kate. 
Uh, you'll you'll see. W- watch this on YouTube, Kate. When you're there, it's it's <laughs> wild. It's, <laughs> All right. By the way, not part of my plan. I was not I get going it. public get with it. this. Gareth is on tour in a hotel room. That's why we're doing yeah. the Zoom. But Kate, back yeah. to you. So what happened? I'm dying to know. All right. So <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> um, I, I, my my friends and family were split on the advice. And so Mm -hmm. I finally just, I sent her a text and I was like, hey, really, truly, I'm not judging what you do for a living. I promise. Um, You know, you're a beautiful woman. I think you're a great, you know, you're lovely. Um, But I have to know what what the equipment was for. And she was like, I totally respected your home. Like, she was not really pleased, (laughs) not surprisingly. Um, but, uh, you know, basically she said, no, you know, and I took really good care of your house and I took good care of your dog. And I was like, well, about the dog, you didn't even walk him. <laughs> so, um, and she oh, said right. that it was, okay. Because- so that last part is yeah. true. <laughs> Kate, yeah, I'm dying, so- I'm dying to know about the only fans. What's happening with it? Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> you know, I, I immediately unfollowed it because I don't want to be a creep that way. Yeah, sure. Uh, and um, yeah, so there's nothing really on there, but we are, we, we kind of ended it amicably and we're still friends on Instagram and whatever. So the funniest part of all of this though, is my students. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I don't know if you remember, but uh, I had to get off the phone with you all because the bell rang and they were coming into my oh, room. Right. Yes. Right. And I guess I just had this like funny, cause we hung up and then I immediately opened the door and like 16 year olds are pouring in my room and. And I guess I just had this like kind of like funny look on my face and I'm like, Miss Ass, what's up? And I'm like, you know, Nick and Brian the security guard from New Girl, and they're like, Yeah, we love yeah, New we Girl. Know and I'm like both of them, yeah. <laughs> it was like, Well, I just got off the phone with them and they were like, What? <laughs> no way. And Brian? here's the thing. I was not even considering for a second the fact that then I would have to say why I was on the phone with you and like tell the story. Right? So I'm like, oh, uh-huh. shit. I can't really discuss porn at school. <laughs> no. <None. laughs> and um, but so I didn't tell them. And then they, you know, they followed the podcast for, for weeks oh. and weeks. And weeks. <laughs> like, oh, where this is, is a turn on, on? This is a turn on the update. <laughs> so um, I'm like, oh, my God. I OK, so I finally just told them what it was about. And I said, if you listen, do not listen to it with your parents. <laughs> I think that's fair. So, and um, sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, and then what? And then what happened? So, so then, so they figured it out. They come in the next day, and they were like, so they listened to it when it came out, and they were like, oh my god! So, like now, like every sophomore at my school knows exactly what happened, and they're they're giving me like all kinds of advice. Um, mm. and advice on this from 16 year olds is pretty entertaining. What's the, uh, um, what's the advice by the way, that's, getting? that's our podcast, but keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, one of them suggested that, um, like, well, you got to go back on and then AI generate a calendar with her and your dog in it and say that she did it. I'm like, I can't lie to them. <laughs> oh, oh my God. AI generated calendar. <laughs> that's such Gareth advice. I was going to say, <laughs> I know. you know, way, it's bad. Yeah. What you know, it's bad when I look down on it. You know, what's sad Gareth <laughs> is that the reason we've never pitched an AI thing is an AI <laughs> Don't generated. Say it. It's, Don't it's, say it's it. cause we're old. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> we would pitch. Everything would be oh, AI generated. By the blank. way, Watch how this influences okay. the show going Agreed. forward. Most 80% of my pitches will be like, have you heard yeah. of this AI? Well, I think well, here, it's here's, how you, here's how you age us. Rather than AI generated, all of ours are uh, 70s Bush, 70s Bush, fight fire with fire. <laughs> yeah, well, by the way, yeah, there are two, there's really been two, there's an a, There's a BC and an AD on this show, and post 70s Bush is the AD. I, I really, I, uh, <laughs> But now it might be AI generated. I think we've got a new theme. I think so. So, Kate, you <laughs> just to recap here a little bit, um, you had somebody in your house you believed was doing OnlyFans, uh, the, your dog sitter. You then followed her on OnlyFans. She just saw that my you. house was in any of them. <laughs> What's yes. that? Yes, we know. Just to see if my house was in any I, of the, uh, the, the content. Kate, we're not judging. We're not judging. We're we're part of the goddamn community. <laughs> so then we're, in. you, okay. we're into it. For I mean, we love it. Are you kidding me? We're yeah, doing it this could for be fun. AI. 
<laughs> AI generated. I don't, know, I don't know what AI is. Neither do I. 70s Bush. So <laughs> then you follow her. You didn't know if you were going to follow up. You're a teacher. Your students heard about it. They pitched AI generated, which is something you're going to start hearing as a buzzword on our show. Uh, at this point, you and this woman <laughs> talked. You made it very clear. You don't judge the OnlyFans community. Who does? And so she said, no, I wasn't doing anything scandalous. But the question is, what the hell was she doing with the camera set up? Exactly. Well, she said that mm. she just wanted to take some pictures in front of the Christmas tree. And they had one <laughs> that I saw. But like, <laughs> well, Kate, but Kate, 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 I hate to be Columbo here, Don't but you it. are a teacher of high school students, right? <laughs> you are an uh -huh. intelligent human being. You are leading the next generation who understands things like AI generated. She brought an entire yeah. <laughs> film set up to take a photo for Christmas. She's got an iPhone. <laughs> That's all you need. Exactly. I know. I, I definitely think that she She's filming pornography in your and home. She can't, and she can't use it because you're onto it. That's what yes. I think happened. Of course, she. you'd never go, hey, you know what? I'm dog sitting. Let's take a photo, honey, in front of the Christmas tree. Why don't you bring nine porn stars and a full film crew? Why? Yeah. Just for the crew. <laughs> we'll get all these porn actresses and porn actors to be craft service. No, no, hey, no, no, no. Hey, let's get 15 tarps for this tree shoot. It just, it just blocks the light. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 Kate, 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 my friend, Kate. You want to believe her. <laughs> Kate, no. Kate, your house is a porno set. Yes. <laughs> I hope you know that. Yep. And I'm now all you- i right now, thanks a lot. <laughs> yes, so was she, and so was he. And maybe so was a third <laughs> so who snuck in, and so are they. <laughs> now, I got bad news for your high school students, uh, or good news for them, bad news for you. Guys, I'm now speaking to Kate's class. This is a woman you can trick and lie to. <laughs> this is somebody AI generate your, your essays, uh, AI generate everything. Oh, um, by the she, way, she I, believed I, porno was not filmed in her home. Guys, you know it was AI generate. Go ahead, Garf. All your finals should be done with Chat GPT. Um, I would definitely, if I was one of your students, be offering to dog sit. It'd be perfect. <laughs> Without question. So, Kate, how did well, she like, convince you? Will you tell us really fast before we keep no, steamrolling I mean, this? I'm not convinced. I've just let it drop because, like, okay. obviously, That's... well, I don't even know what answer I was expecting. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I definitely did this in your bed. That's true. So, I don't even know why I asked in the first place. I should have just kept my mouth shut. Um, no, I, I think no, it's, I think it's, it's classy. It's classy, and it's grown up to ask. Thank you. And so, I so also she, think it yeah. for her. For her, it probably makes her think twice about the next time that she's dog sitting uh, about turning the place into. No, or, uh, or she just had to do the same lie. I was just filming, uh, taking a photo for Christmas. Well, maybe she'll at least walk the dog a little. I think that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, so there was only one doggy style taking place in that house and it was not on leash. <laughs> <laughs> Kate, we got to jump off. Thank you so much for the follow up and the call. Kate, we got to get off like your dog sitter. <laughs> and to oh, and to the class, thank you guys for listening. Please be kind to your teacher. She is a cool, nice human being who's trying her hardest, and she's part of our community. So be good students and get good grades. Yeah, just like us. <laughs> you guys are awesome. All right, have a good. Thank one. you. You're the best. Thank you. Good luck, Kate. Thank you. Bye. Hey everybody! Thank you guys for watching us on YouTube. Please. Like and subscribe so you don't miss any of this quality content. Ring, ring. Here to help. Go ahead. Oh my god! Damn. I'm kind of Cut. That was a headgum podcast. <laughs>